What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here. Back at it again, like you can always expect. You know what I mean? And today, we're going to be doing a little unpackaging here. Unpouching, if you want to call it. All right. So, we got some um, spots for you to put your patches on. All right. And we got MBK. You can put a, um, a belt through it or put whatever you want to put through it. Right, let's get right into the math. Inside, all you get is the math. All right. The pouch is okay, but, you know, it'd be nice if there was a cloth with, with it, right? Because this is $400, all right? Now, here's the math. Got a stonewashed titanium. All right. Let's see. If that looks like a T eight, these looks like uh these look like T sixes maybe. All right, there's the thumb stud. Centering is on point. All right, I would expect it to be on point. They don't make too many of these sea otters. This is the Monterey Bay sea otter. The clip, good tension. Frame lock, as you can see, titanium scales, and magna cut blade. All right. Now, there's the logo. Lasered in. It's pretty nice. You can barely see the logo in some lighting, depending on how you're holding it. All right. And it says magna cut. Magna cut. It's on the blade, all right? Now, this is going to need some breaking in, it seems like. It feels pretty gritty, very gritty. Yes, it's pretty gritty. Um, it should break in. Maybe it needs some grease. I'm not sure what kind of grease they put on it from the factory, but it does feel super gritty. All right, if it still flicks open better than a Sabenza, right, still. But mine is broken in, so you can't really compare. And mine feels a lot smoother because I've broken it in. This one could get there. Probably need some grease, honestly. That feels pretty dry. Let's try it too. All right. All right. Uh, all right, guys, you know, one of the things about knives, one of my pet peeves is how close this edge is to the freaking back of the blade when it's closed. It, oh man, it's almost there. You see that? It's like right there. Like I can, I can touch it right away. And I, you know. It doesn't bother everyone, but when I see this, I'm like, damn. Like, I'm just going like this. I can feel the the edge, you know. And if you put it in your pocket like this and you reach for your keys, right, you could slice yourself. All right. Now, the jimping feels aggressive, like smooth. I mean, aggressive, yeah. It, you can feel it for sure. It's a good jimping. It's a clean looking knife. You know, they put the logo on the lock bar side. And for righties, you're not going to see that ever. This looks like a custom knife. This is $400, of course, though. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a saber grind here. It's all flat here. Looks uh, pretty good. Stone wash on everything. Does the, how's the edge? The edge is... It's not super thin, but it's not thick. And it's got some tooth on it. All right. And now some of y'all might be thinking this. Tim Z, will you be keeping the sea otter? Um... Feel like it's so much similar to 
the Sabenza. But the Sabenza still feels more refined. And, you know, this used to be $425, right? But now it's $450. So hard to get. They sell out amazingly fast, especially for the Nsingo. You know what? Where's my tools? I gotta do this. All right. This is like 10 millimeters thick. I'm guessing this one's thicker. It just feels like it in hand. 11. All right. So yes, it does feel a little chunkier. Just a one millimeter difference feels different in hand for sure. Like I could tell right away. Oh man. Let's do the weight. Um, this is not gonna be fair for the Sabenza because the Sabenza has a bead on it. All right. The Sapenza has a bead on it. 3.14. All right. Even with the thicker clip and the lanyard. 3.114. Very close. Um, oh, that's interesting. These thumb studs stick out a lot. All right. Like when you lay it down on the table, it rocks on the thumb stud. This one doesn't. I know uh, that can be a good thing if you like to have a thumb stud that's easily accessible, you know, and especially a lot of people um, in America got chunky thumbs, you know, because they, they heavy. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, I recently got a little heavy, gained a little pounds, you know, maybe like 10 pounds more. And then I'm like, oh, shit, I got to start taking care of that, exercising and stuff. Yeah, I don't want to let weight get out of control because once you let that thing snowball, you're going to look like a snowball. You're going to look like a snowman. All right. Um, yeah, not much else to say about this NAF. Okay. For 400, do I like it? Um, compared to other $400 knobs out there, I'd say, you know, this is small production made in the USA, you know, since you guys care about that a lot. I'd say it's about right. 400, it includes the shipping um, and includes taxes. There's no taxes added on. So I'd say this is about right. With taxes, you know, if they charge taxes, this would have been, and it was 400, you'd be paying roughly what? Three, uh, damn it, 670, 380. Yeah, no rough math. Uh, yeah. We got some grind lines on the top here, on this right here, flat spot. Looks pretty good. It, it, this thing needs grease. This came out dry from the factory. But will I be keeping this? $400 Monterey Bay Sea Otter. Um, I don't think so. Just because I have a Sabenza and I'm not trying to blow up my collection too much. You know, I don't want to have too many knives. And that kind of bothers me. It's this is one of the closest to the edge right there. Like it's it's just yeah. Anyways, guys, do you like this knife? Have you been trying to get it in the lotto but haven't been able to get it? Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys. If you want to see more from me, subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Tim Z USA. And until next time, Tim Z out.